But this is an issue, and I want to thank the members who have worked on this, because this is an issue that we hear a lot, we've heard a lot about. We've heard a lot about affordability, and we hear a lot about housing, the housing crisis in New York State, the lack of affordable housing. Um, and no doubt, it is a very real thing. It's a real thing in New York City. It's a real thing on Long Island. It's a real thing in Western New York and everywhere in between. The problem is we have not heard real solutions to this crisis. What we've heard, we've actually heard, besides sort of uh, political doublespeak from the Democrats and from Governor Hochul, but what we've heard are things that would, that would actually double down on why we're in this crisis to begin with. I always ask the question, why, why do we have, why are there not more housing units being built? Well, I know home builders and developers, you know what they love to do? They love to build homes and, and new developments. Why? That's how they make money. If they're not doing it, it's because they don't believe they can get that return on their, you know, that, that money back in. Why? Housing is very expensive to build in New York. We've made it and we continue to make it more expensive by some of these energy policies we're pushing, uh, the climate policies. That is going to make housing more expensive in the state of New York. Full stop. So that's going to exacerbate the issue. Why? Another reason why. Because we allow people to stay in rent-controlled apartments that have no business being in a rent-controlled apartment. Their income levels, they, it's been passed down like a hereditary fiefdom. And that's not why we came up with the idea of rent-controlled uh, apartments. That was for people of low income, of, of low means, who needed a place. So now you have places that should be online that are not coming online for people who actually need them. And you have people who absolutely could afford an apartment, uh, you know, market rate. They are not, they don't have to even search for one. And we're going to hear about means testing, uh, which I, I, I know my colleagues are going to talk about. Um, we also, you, you look around, we've, we've hammered developers. There's this, there's this narrative out there that, that the only house you should own, I think it was Senator Brisport, my learned colleague from Brooklyn there, he says, uh, the only house you should own is the one you live in. So there's a real hostility and an attack on the notion of property rights and on people who you know, own multiple units, whether it's a duplex up by me, whether it's a high rise in the city of New York. But there's, a, there's a, an antagonism and a hostility to the model that someone who provides a home for someone, whether it's an apartment, a condo, that that's a bad thing. They shouldn't make any money. Now, look at someone is going to own these places. My colleagues would essentially take us to a point where everything is public housing. NYSHA. Look no further. Go into a NYSHA unit today. NYSHA is the worst landlord in the state of New York. And that's what passes for utopia or success by a lot of our colleagues as a solution to the housing crisis. The, the proposal we're rolling out today is a thought-out, multifaceted, layered response to the housing crisis and would actually put more people in affordable homes in the state of New York. It would stop the, the housing welfare in the rent control system. It would, it would foster the, the building of new units. And by putting more supply, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna put a release valve on that demand and you're going to see prices come down. That is the answer. This isn't rocket science. You don't need an MBA from Harvard, Lord knows, or anywhere else to understand this. This is basic economics. But our colleagues, many of them from Manhattan, many of them who live in very posh places, they have a different mindset uh, that they're trying to push with good cause eviction, tenancy for life. It would absolutely collapse the rental market in the state of New York. This proposal is a real answer and a real solution. And you're seeing also, and I want to make a mention before I turn over to Senator Helming, you're seeing a lot of news on squatters. We're seeing, we're, we're, and, and this, I think, goes to this topic. Property rights in the United States of America, not just New York, in the United States, is one of the oldest inviolable rights when the founding of this country, when we were founded, the idea that you could own property, that your home was your castle, that is being really, that, that is being questioned at, 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 at the minimum by a lot of what you're, the, the, the debate and the conversations happening both here in the Capitol and across the state. The idea that someone could come into your home 
They're there for 30 days, and you can't, you can't remove them unless you go to housing court, which could take months or longer, is ridiculous. This is going across the country. New York is being looked at as a joke, a joke state. We wonder why there's a housing crisis? It's because of things like that, because we feel that, that basically, if you can get into someone's house, whatever your contract was, if you don't pay, if your lease expires, if you have no business there, but you're there for 30 days, you have a right to that place. That is ridiculous. That is, that is not how it, this is supposed to work. This conference, the people behind me want to protect property rights. Protect property rights. And we want to put more people into homes. But someone has to build that home. Someone has to build that apartment. Someone has to pay the heat and, and, and the utilities. And then they provide that to somebody else. That is the model that has worked. It's worked very well for a long time. It's created wealth and it's put, provided a roof over people's heads. And they are actually taking a sledgehammer to it with some of their proposals. This proposal does the opposite. It would, it's a real solution and a real answer to the housing and affordability crisis here in the state of New York. And it does so in keeping with our principles and I think the principles of most New Yorkers.